this video, we're going to check out the grain mod effects on the Sensrum Deluge. This is on the public firmware 1.0. So in order to enable it, press shift, press the select knob. It says settings. Let's go all the way down to the bottom of the list. It'll say enable grain effects. Click in and then make sure it's set to on. Now press any pad and it'll just say saving settings. So here's a kit track. So it's just drum samples. And then here we have a column of line in and here's a column MIDI channel five. So I have the MIDI channel triggering my Roland JU-06 into the line in synthesizer. So first we're just gonna apply this to the kit. So let's enter in, let's listen to the beat. Okay, so now all you have to do is, so just press mod rate and then it'll say mod rate and depth. So just press that button. Now we can switch by pressing in the top gold knob, change it to grain. So the top gold knob is mod rate or how fast or slow it goes. And the bottom gold knob can switch between feedback, offset, and depth. So the rate sets the grain rate from 0.5 hertz to 180 hertz. But I'm not going to hear that unless I apply depth. So we're going to choose depth, press play. Now let's turn up depth. You can already hear it in the background here. Okay, it sounds like things are going reverse. So let's press stop. So the depth, when, if we increase it, it's just the dry wet mix from original to full grain effects. So you bring it down a little, you can hear both signals. If you want to change the grain type, just choose feedback. Now when you change the feedback, so anywhere a range of zero to 10 is unison and plus one octave reversed. So that's what we heard already. So let's press play, you can hear that. Now 11 through 20 changes it unison and minus one octave. So you hear a lower applied there. Now let's go up to 21 through 30 is unison and plus one octave. If we go to 31 through 40, it's gonna play a fifth and a plus one octave. And then if we go 41 through 50, going to be unison and a plus and a minus one octave. So we don't really hear much of a, anything there. So let's switch. Now we have offset. Now that's going to adjust our grain size from 10 milliseconds to 800. So I can turn it here and then we can hear more changes. It's just that mode. Let's change depth, turn it up a little. Now feedback, let's change it back down to 21 through 30. So this one, I like that one the best. So anywhere from 21 through 30, unison and plus one octave. Change that rate. And hear what it's doing. Now we change the offset, again, that's the grain size. So it changes everything that we're hearing. Change the rate. So let's turn it off. So I'm just going to press flange, for example, and we'll just turn it all the way down. So now what I want to do, so we're going to disable the drums. We're going to enable these clips. That's the synth line in, and that's MIDI. So I'm going to enter into the synth line in. Now, just so you know, if it's a synth clip, that button doesn't modify the grain type. It actually changes vibrato. So amount and rate. So if I press play, we can listen to it. Now if I turn up the bottom knob, hear that? That's the amount of vibrato. So I'm just gonna leave it really low here. So the mod effects are from here this column right here. So four over and then it's this. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm just gonna enter in a clip. You can already see I have it set to, we have mod effects rate, which is that one, mod effects depth, feedback, and offset. So I can switch between them that way or I can just hold down shift and switch that way. Or I can just press here and press which ones I can automate. So the first thing is depth, so let's press play. Let's turn up the depth. Can we hear it? Now the feedback 
back. I don't want to change because that's the green type. Let's just leave it what it's at. Now we'll offset. Let's turn it up. Make it larger grains. Now I want to go to rate. Let's turn that down. Now if I click out of clip, I can turn up the reverb a little. Now I can zoom out and see the entire area. Now let's play around with the mod effects rate. Let's make it slow down over time. Maybe even further. Now I can change the depth on here. So maybe make it fade out. We got really large here. Feedback, that's the type, so we can experiment with that. Maybe switch from different presets on here. And then an offset, that's the green size. Let's change that. So we can do all those changes. Let's turn on the drums. I could go and uh, automate the drums. Just play around with that a little. Now the depth, let's turn that up. Feedback. Decimation. Let's play with master pitch. Let's go back out. I want to go to the audio line in. Go in. Let's go to the master pitch on the melodic. Play around with that a little. We can mess that up too. Let's go to another clip. I'm gonna modify. Modifying the filter envelope. It's on my keyboard off camera. Turn up resonance. You can hear a little bit of this drum here. I think. That's actually set to, yeah, that's set to green. There we go. Let's go into the automation here, mod effects. Let's turn up the depth. Let's turn the rate down.
see what it sounds like there. I'll turn all this down. Turn up the resonance. Make sure effect and tires on. Here's an old song project I just loaded in. What I want to do is apply the grain to the master. So I'm going to press effect entire. Now I'm going to click the top gold knob until it says grain. Make sure we're in depth. Let's press play. I'm going to turn up the depth with the wet dry. You hear it creeping up there. Let's switch to feedback. Let's change the mode. 31 to 40. Switch it. Change the grain size, which is the offset. Make it longer. Make it shorter. Turn up reverb. Crank up the offset. Turn down low pass. Up, so let's turn it all the way up. Change the rate, turn it up a little. Change the different mode. Offset, turn down the green. Turn down the rate. Back to depth, let's turn it down. And here the original mixed in. Turn up the filter. Turn the 
turn up depth. And go really slow. 